So the more detail-oriented among you folks may have noticed that I've been recording my videos with my old camera, a Sony Handycam from several years ago, because it records in AVC HD as opposed to MP4, like this Canon that I bought last year records in. Now, I bought this. It was a great camera until I found out MP4 flakes out when you start editing it. Once you're changing the lengths of clips, you have problems with phantom syllables. To get the remaining answers on just how flaky MP4s are and whether I should buy a newer camcorder that can record in AVC HD, I've taken five test clips and I'm going to combine them together with the raster transitions that I use in my videos. And we will pre-render them so what you're going to see is what the five clips with their transitions rendered out to. This might get a little redundant, but it's for science! First, let's test a pre-render using the MP4 transition raster clip that I've traditionally used up to the point I found out that this bug was a thing. And let's see how many phantom syllables we get. This is clip one. This is clip two. This is clip three. This is clip four. This is clip five. Well, nuts. No audio glitches. Is this going to be one of those videos where I get jinxed by technicians' dumb luck? Because when I'm looking for things to break, everything suddenly works? Alright, let's try what I thought was going to fix this, and that is not having MP4s crashing into each other, because we are using AVCHD raster clips to cut everything up. So there are never two consecutive MP4s in a row. This is clip one. This is clip two. This is clip three. This is clip four. This is clip five. Oh, brother, I'm leveling up my jinx level. The one with the AVCHD transitions actually sounds worse than the one that stays MP4 all the way from start to finish. Okay, well, let's have five MP4s in a row and see if that generates any glitches. This is clip one. This is clip two. This is clip three. This is clip four. This is clip five. Well darn, everything either started working all of a sudden or I have been jinxed like crazy. Well then, let's put the new camera back in the camera mount and add an external microphone. See if external microphones were the issue here. We're going to need five more clips for that, so let's record five more test clips and play with the pre-renders again. With an external microphone, this is clip one. This is clip two. This is clip three. This is clip four. This is clip five. Okay, this is beyond ridiculous now. This is all working with the new camera, the way it's supposed to, including with the external microphone. So is, if this is going to work this well, I might as well record with the new camera then. And watch. I'll bet any money I'm jinxing everything. And now, now that I'm actually doing these long discussions instead of this is clip one, this is clip two, I'll bet now is when it screws up. Womp, 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 womp. Well then, maybe redoing the computer and putting in the M2 SSD fixed the old audio glitch thing, or, well, no, it didn't, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to try this. So yeah, nothing is glitching out. Whatever. Let's do one more try with five MP4s in a row with external audio. With an external microphone, this is clip one. This is clip two. This is clip three. This is clip four. This is clip five. Whatever. Well, that's enough being made to look like an idiot by equipment for one night. Now watch. I'll go try to record a regular video with this setup and the audio will start glitching again. Typical technician's jinx. Things work when they're not supposed to and things break when they're supposed to work. Whatever. Multimedia J out. Rawr!